Hey everyone, I can't believe what I just witnessed. Google has finally done it. The robot revolution we've been promised for decades. It's happening right now. A robot folding intricate origami with the precision of a master, packing a lunchbox just like a parent would, and responding to casual commands like, hey, can you move that glass without breaking it? And the robot just does it. No programming, no specific training for that exact task. It just understands and adapts. This isn't science fiction anymore. On March 12th, 2025, Google DeepMind unveiled Gemini Robotics, and trust me, it's sending shockwaves through Silicon Valley. OpenAI, Meta, and Amazon are scrambling to catch up, and I've got the inside scoop on what's happening behind closed doors. But here's what really keeps me up at night. This isn't just another tech announcement. This is the moment artificial intelligence steps out of our screens and into our physical world. The implications are staggering. By the end of this video, you'll understand exactly how this technology works, why tech giants are in panic mode, and how this might change your life sooner than you think. And stick around because I'm going to reveal something about these robots that Google didn't mention in their press release that might completely change how you feel about all of this. Let me break down what Google actually announced because it's mind-blowing. They've created two AI models specifically designed for robotics, Gemini Robotics and Gemini Robotics ER. ER stands for Embodied Reasoning. I've been following robotics for years, and here's why this is different. Traditionally, robots need explicit programming for every little movement. Want a robot to pick up a cup? You'd have to program exactly how to approach it, where to grasp it, how much pressure to apply, and it's exhausting. But Gemini Robotics, you simply tell it, hey, could you grab that coffee mug and bring it over here? And it figures out all the details itself. In demonstration videos, these robots are shown folding paper into origami shapes, packing items into lunchboxes, carefully handling fragile objects, and even performing basketball slam dunks when verbally instructed. And here's the crazy part. When someone moves an object mid-task, the robot notices and adjusts immediately. When instructions change, it adapts on the fly. It's continuously monitoring its surroundings, just like you and I do without thinking. These robots don't just execute tasks, they understand context, nuance, and intent. When you tell a Gemini-powered robot, don't put that there, it might fall. It actually comprehends the risk and adjusts accordingly. But before I reveal the full capabilities of these robots, let me explain the technological breakthrough that made this possible. So how did Google pull this off? I've dug into their technical documentation, and what they've accomplished is genuinely revolutionary. At its core, Gemini Robotics builds on Google's Gemini 2.0 large language model. Yes, the same kind of AI that powers chatbots like ChatGPT. But here's the crucial difference. They've added physical actions as an output modality. Think about it this way. Language models typically take in text, images, audio, or video, and output more text. Gemini Robotics takes in visual data from cameras and natural language instructions, then outputs physical movements for robots. They call this a Vision Language Action Model, or VLA. Here's where it gets fascinating. The robot continuously perceives its environment through cameras, understands what it's seeing, processes your instructions, and then plans and executes physical movements, all in real time. It's like having human-level perception, reasoning, and dexterity, but in a machine. The Gemini Robotics ER variant takes this even further, focusing specifically on spatial reasoning, understanding the three-dimensional world, identifying optimal grasping points, and planning safe movement paths. According to Google, this model scores two to three times higher in success rate compared to baseline models when handling complex spatial tasks. Google's announcement has effectively fired the starting gun in what I'm calling the Great Robotics Race of 2025. According to my research from Le Monde, OpenAI, Meta, and Amazon are all pivoting hard toward robotics, recognizing that controlling the physical world is the next frontier for AI dominance. Sources tell me that OpenAI already has a robotics division working around the clock to catch up, while Meta is leveraging its Reality Labs expertise to develop competing technology. Amazon, with its vast logistics empire, has perhaps the most to gain. 
Imagine warehouses full of robots that understand natural language commands and can handle any product without specific programming. Google has strategically partnered with leading robotics companies to accelerate development. Their most notable partnership is with Aptronic, which is developing the Apollo humanoid robot. In fact, Google isn't just collaborating with them. They're investors, having participated in Aptronic's recent $350 million funding round. Other partners include Agile Robots, Boston Dynamics, yes, the makers of those terrifyingly agile robot dogs, and Enchanted Tools. This diverse testing ecosystem suggests Google is aiming to implement their technology across different robot types and use cases. Here's what I discovered in my research. Google seems genuinely concerned about safety. They've created something called the Asimov dataset, named after science fiction author Isaac Asimov and his famous Three Laws of Robotics. This dataset helps test and improve security in embodied AI systems. Google has also been experimenting with a robot constitution, essentially a set of natural language rules that guide the model away from unsafe or unethical tasks. The aim is to ensure these powerful systems align with human values and priorities. But here's what keeps me skeptical. We've heard these reassurances before with other AI technologies, and yet problems still emerge. When robots have physical agency in the world, the stakes become much higher. And with OpenAI, Meta, and Amazon racing to catch up, I wonder if safety will remain the priority across the board. Competition has a way of pushing boundaries, sometimes in directions we later regret. There's something unnerving about machines that can interpret our casual commands and act on them in the physical world. What happens when instructions are ambiguous? What about malicious users? These are questions that will need robust answers as this technology develops. Yet despite these concerns, I can't help but feel excited about the potential benefits. And when you see what these robots might actually do in our daily lives, you might feel the same way. Which brings me to perhaps the most important question of all. Are we ready for this future? We're standing at a pivotal moment in technological history. Google's Gemini Robotics isn't just another incremental advance. It's a fundamental shift in how AI interacts with our physical world. The competition this has sparked among tech giants ensures rapid progress, but also raises important questions about safety, ethics, and the kind of future we want to build. I believe these technologies have incredible potential to improve our lives, assist those who need help, and solve problems we've struggled with for generations. But like any powerful tool, the impact depends entirely on how we choose to use it. So here's my question to you. How do you feel about sharing your space with robots that understand your commands and can physically interact with your environment? Are you excited? Concerned? A bit of both? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. I read every single one and would love to hear your perspective. If you found this breakdown valuable, hit that subscribe button and notification bell because I'll be following this story as it develops. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. And remember to be uniquely you.